Because a man with a moustache. <laughs> My most... Unlike some of you. <laughs> My first guest tonight is an international superstar. I don't know why she's here, frankly. She can do better than this show. <laughs> she's got a new show, The Gift of Music, at the Hollywood Bowl on July the 18th and 19th. And she's in Atlanta on August the 2nd and Philadelphia on August the 7th. <gasps> Julie Andrews, everybody! do that for me and I have them professionally warmed. <laughs> I guess you come every evening and I don't or something like that. What is this? Okay. Yes. I'm Last very, time I'm I was here you didn't have that. No, I know. I, I don't know if it'll be here next time either. I, I'm very unsure about it. I what see. do you think? Well, it's a bit Fu Manchu-ish, isn't is it? Is it really? Yeah. But actually, it does lend a sort of rakish air. I know, that's what I thought. I'm not sure, though. See, the truth is, Craig, that I'd take it either way with you. I'd, I mean, really, I think it's great, and without it, it's great. Too. No, yeah. thank you. Well, I thought I'd butter you up a yeah, bit. No, yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah. Well, which brings me nicely to what you've come here to plug. Yes. Yes. Well, I thought I would just no, pop in and say hello. <laughs> yeah, you know what I used to love? You remember the old, uh, they used to have the old Christmas specials that Bing Crosby would yes. have them? And he'd say, like, he, was, he would have an old fake fire going on, and he'd be saying, oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I've got to go and beat the kids. And then... <laughs> The doorbell would go, and he would go, oh, somebody at the door, and, and he'd go to the... Rosemary like, Clooney or yeah, something. Or yeah, or David Bowie was there or yes, something. Remember that? Right. David Bowie came to Bing Crosby's house for Christmas? <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> and they sang together. I know. Well, I, as I say, I just thought I'd pop in. Well, you popped yeah. in. And so we'll, we won't sing together, though. Really? No, I can't sing with this moustache. <laughs> uh, Frankly, the... I couldn't either. <laughs> Much too no, hard. No, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I completely understand. Now, you know, by the way, explain. can I tell you, that's what I used to look like before uh, I grew the moustache? Yeah, in your youth, right? Yeah. Yes. Very now, you, this is a book. Of, what's this book about? This is a book that I wrote with my daughter several years ago. Okay. And it's a little fairy tale, a fable for children. Is this a little fairy here? No. Okay. He's, he, this, is, this is Simeon, and the book is called Simeon's Gift. And right. to be really brief, uh, she, my daughter and I are very passionate about the arts and literacy and we tried to combine the two right. in a little story about uh, music and the creative process and about a musician who goes out to find his talent and his seek his muse and so on right. and this little book has had the most amazing serendipity and good fortune and it has brought me to the Hollywood Bowl this Friday and Saturday and then Atlanta and then Philadelphia. Are you, are you going to sing? I'm, no, I'm going to sort of, well I'll get to that in a All second, right, okay. but it's going to be with a beautiful symphony orchestra and a little bit like Peter and the Wolf or the Carnival of oh, the right, right, I'll yeah. be narrating and I've got five wonderful people with me and um, it's going to be a super evening. The first half of the evening is all about, it's the gifts of music, old and new. Right. And the first half is Rodgers and Hammerstein, second half is Simeon's Gift, which has just been set to music, and it is glorious. And are you going to sing? And I'm going to surprise a few people by doing a few things, yes. Right. I'm, I wouldn't say that I sing the way I used to in, on the screen, but there's a certain timbre left. Oh, nice, right. yes. I like that. I haven't, to be truthful, I, I, I go out and I do speaking engagements, but I haven't been back you know, on the stage for about uh, 10 years or more. Are you nervous? It, are, are you kidding? My heart just keeps dropping into my boots and coming back up again. May I suggest something that will give yes. you great confidence? A false moustache. Ah. <laughs> 
I nearly walked out in one tonight, but I just thought it no, would give no, the wrong no, 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 you must. Yeah. No, you Shall must. I try it? I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. what. Do you have any little uh, things that you used to do when you were performing, like any little OCD things before you go on? I used to wear magic underpants and stuff like that. <laughs> No, I haven't sort of, it's been so long, Craig, I've sort of forgotten. No, no, you, you've got to try to, do, do, get a, the, all the little rituals you used to do yes. when you were working, because you worked back in, in music hall in oh, the yeah, UK. Oh yeah, lots and lots of Right, and you yeah. were out there singing every yeah. night, you must have had a little routine. Well, a few things, my mum was more superstitious than I am, right. she was really superstitious. What did she do? Well, you know, you couldn't whistle in the dressing room, you had, couldn't walk under ladders and all of that kind of, and if you did whistle in the dressing room, you had to turn around three times and go out and knock and come in again. That kind of stupid thing. Well, do that. Don't don't whistle and do that anyway. You think it'll help? Yes, yeah. What All you right. do is uh, don't whistle, but walk around in three circles, go out and come back in again, and then you'll have the luck that you'll need by, uh, and also it'll be on top of not whistling. Are you which sure is you bonus. know what you're talking I'm about? Not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm even here. <laughs> No, I, I think, I, I worry about you being nervous. Well, you must be nervous. Yeah. But everyone's there to well, see you. Well, you know, of course one's nervous, and everybody right. should be and, uh, that's perfor a performer, I think. I mean, do you get nervous before? No. No? No. That's unbelievable. I used to, I used to get nervous. When I started doing this don't show... Scratch I, it, it's don't scratch it. Don't scratch it, Mustache. No, no, it's not a good thing. It'll have to go. It's either, it's either that or scratch another part of me. Heaven <laughs> <laughs> for mind boggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if I didn't, see, that's moustaches, because if I didn't have a moustache there and I just scratched like that, you wouldn't have said anything. No, I wouldn't. Nah, see? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, you're doing uh, Vegas week. I am doing Vegas. Have you done Vegas? I have done Vegas. You're quite a lot, probably. Yeah, no, no. Oh. I did it once. All I right, think. don't be, no, no, be strict. <laughs> no, it was just, I did it once at the Caesars Palace. Oh, right. And uh, I did about uh, 16 performances there many years ago. It's changed a lot since Yeah, I yeah, but it's changed back. Well, it's much more family friendly. No, not anymore. No. It went family Family friendly. Really? Yeah, it went family friendly. There was no money in it, so they kicked all the kids out. It's back to dirty, sexy Vegas. And now again. you're there, right? Yeah. And I'm right back here. <laughs> and you're back here. The lovely Julie Andrews, everybody. We'll be right back.